SharePoint 2013, Issues Restoring a Previous Version of a SharePoint 2010 Workflow. Have you ever seen this error message? Versions cannot be accessed at this time because the server is busy. Please try again later. This happens when you are in SharePoint Designer 2013 and you try to restore a previous version of a SharePoint 2010 workflow. Well, I have found a simple uh, workaround solution that will get past this. But first, let's see how I got to this point. So I'm going to close out of this error message and get back to it. So in SharePoint, in SharePoint Designer 2013, sorry, click on All Files, find Workflows, and click Workflows. Click on your SharePoint 2010 workflow. In this example, I will be using Demo 2010 workflow. Next to the .xoml file, right click and say version history. This will process for about 15 seconds before it will then fail. Perfect. Versions cannot be accessed at this time because the server is busy. Please try again later. Yes, I know. So, now that we've seen the error and we know how to reproduce it, I want to quickly show you what the 2010 workflow uh, is doing. Again, it's very simple. So I will open that so you can see it. And here all it's doing is emailing Jeff Taylor which is myself, stopping and logging done. Now, I've created a previous version of this workflow just so that I could test and make sure that it works. So, but now I'm going to close this uh, SharePoint Designer 2013. And from my local computer, I'm going to open up SharePoint Designer 2010. If you do not have SharePoint Designer 2010 installed on your local computer, you can find a link in the description to download the product. Anyways, again, I will open SharePoint Designer 2010 now and click Open Site. Next to Site Name, I will enter my SharePoint URL, but since I've already navigated to my SharePoint site, it is up here under Recent Sites, scuba3.atrackspace.com. Again, you will want to enter your SharePoint URL. Click Open. When prompted for your username and password, enter those credentials. Click OK. The site will take a moment or two to open in SharePoint Designer 2010. Perfect. Under Site Objects, click on All Files. Scroll down until you find Workflows. Click on Workflows. Again, for this example, I'll be using the Demo 2010 workflow. I will click on it. Now the files that I need to update or uh, restore the version history for are going to be the .xoml file and the .xoml.wfconfig.xml. I do not need to do anything with the .xsn file. So let's start with the first one next to the .xoml file. Right click and from the pop-up click version history. Now for this example I'm going to go back to the date 5 8 2015 at 10:22 a.m. You'll notice that as version 1, but versions can be different, so make sure that you're paying attention to the date versus the version number. So I will click on the date that I would like and click restore. Now I'm going to do the .xoml.wfconfig.xml file. Click next to it, right click, version history, and again, I want to select the same date and time, which is 5-8-2015 at 10-22 a.m., which just happens to be version 1, uh, which is the same as the .xoml file. And click Restore. And there we go. 
So now what I want to do is close out of SharePoint Designer 2010, go back to SharePoint Designer 2013. So from your local computer, open up SharePoint Designer 2013, navigate to your SharePoint site by clicking Open Site. Your SharePoint site uh, may be under Recent Sites. If it's not, you can enter the URL next to site name. But again, scuba3.atrspace.com is, so I'll just click on it and click Open. It will ask me for my credentials. Wait while it gathers my information. Now, all we need to do is publish the workflow. So I will go to under site, under site objects, go to workflows. Click on my SharePoint 2010 workflow, which again is demo 2010 workflow. I will click on edit workflow so you can see that it actually reverted back to a different version. If, you'll rem if you remember, if you recall, that it was emailing to Jeff Taylor, then it stopped and it logged done. Now it logs test complete because that was the first version of this workflow. So it did revert correctly, but I, again, I still need to publish it. So in the upper left, click publish. And that's it. You have successfully restored a previous version of a SharePoint 2010 workflow. This has been a presentation by Jeff Taylor, and thanks for watching.